Well, it started with a dream of when I was a child in Fairmont, West Virginia, looking up at the stars. I knew I wanted to do something associated with the space program. Every day is different and the challenges are unmatched. Um, we're always learning new things about what occurs in space. And the longer we put people in space and the further we get away from the Earth, the, the bigger the challenges seem. I was a space geek from the beginning. I really believe in the, in the we can almost think of this the Star Trek version, you know, we're trying to push a new frontier. That inner fire that I had to want to work in the space business was only enhanced and enriched by my experience at West Virginia University. We have had men in space sustained since 1998 on the International Space Station. The sky is not going That I am part of a tremendous team that makes it possible for men and women to be orbiting the Earth. You know, there's a large contingent of mountaineers here at the Johnson Space Center and, um, you know, we look out for each other and, and it's, it's good to see that, that family, that, that community that we have down here. You feel like you're walking back home when you, when you go back and visit. And I've always appreciated that West Virginia. The whole experience, it, it, it has prepared me for the next stage of my life. You know, it's that university that gave me my first start and gave me the underpinnings to pretty much work anywhere. Manned spaceflight is as high as you can go. 